Mortals store food called grain in granaries, overseen by Demeter, who is also in charge of the mysteries of the afterlife. Hades alive! We gave her all the pointless jobs. Maybe we could just combine them. The mysteries of the afterlife are basically serial.
reminder that Athena is more strategic and steadfast in her tactics than Ares. And they work! She stomped him in the Trojan War! You know she had her own flouters following her around playing battle songs? She stomped him with her own soundtrack! The sword of Orestes. Athena judged him for his transgressions, and the Arrhenius themselves had to accept her word. Look, Athena was born straight from my forehead, okay? People listen when she speaks. And now for a proper offering. The Owl Key, symbol of Athena's wise judgment, seems appropriate. Look, Athena. This is who you are. Who you need to be again. But I wasn't even right all the time. And Zeus always tried to butt in with his judgments. You were sure of yourself. You chose your own path. Being open to every plan means that you're going to end up following a patchwork mess. You're right! I hated it when Zeus told me what to do, because I knew better! He drove me up the wall! No! What are you saying, Athena? This... this can't be! I was only trying to help! Old favorites die hard. But it was so tough! I had to know and decide so much! I don't know if I'm ready to take on that weight again! We'll face Typhon together this time. But we need you to be the whole you. You're right. I need to be big again. I need all of me. Final blessing. You've earned it. Come. There. I've opened the way to my essence. It's scary down there. Leave this part to your champion. Can you wait for me in the Hall of the Gods? I guess... Hermes better not make fun of me for being little. You're not little, Athena. You are wise and powerful. And soon we'll make Typhon regret he ever messed with you. Okay, yeah! We'll team up and we'll, um, punch his stupid face. That's a good judgment. Works for me. And if Hermes is annoying while I'm gone, just kick him in the knees. You're the right height. They were always just suggestions. Is that what Athena said? She's not herself right now. She's just being emotional. Maybe for once, instead of talking, you should listen to your daughter. Please, Prometheus. Tell me you made it up. It is the truth, Zeus. I'm her dad. That may be, but it doesn't give you the right to tell her how to do her job. And especially not when she's more qualified than you. Yeah. Oh. Without my essence, I won't be able to make a plan.
This form is temporary, Aphrodite. It's just that if one wants to be taken seriously, one must look the part. Looks don't do that. The mind does. Of course, of course. Your mind specifically has accomplished wonders, the big old thing. Well, thanks. But the face is the window to the soul of something. If you feel powerful, you are powerful. I guess that's true. Let me teach you to braid your hair. It will change your life. That could be fun. Perfect. And then we're getting Hephaestus to invent the Lord. Brows. Without my essence, I won't be able to make a plan. <sighs>
So much more than you are. I.
Phoenix knew of the muse Calliope, who carries inspiration to mortals like leaves on a breeze. Too bad she didn't have any left for you.
known far and wide. But then, I invented a way for man to fly. And in my pride, I let my son, the joy of my heart, use the wings that killed him. For how could any creation of the great Daedalus fail? But oh, my king, I fail. Your broken world does not deserve my perfection, but I am kind. Father, the heroes are not enough.
me. Trust me. Let me guide you. Instead of talking over me, Zeus. Trust my judgment. Athena's statue stands alone. She's always been there for heroes. They should be there for her. With a start, Phoenix realized that Athena's essence had been corrupted by Typhon. The snake-haired figure on her aegis had come to life.
Could I have made a mistake? No. It is the others who are wrong. With my strategy, you are invincible. fit to sit in judgment.
the deity, you vain idiot! Ah. Listen to me. You know I'm right.
Athena should be surrounded by all four demons. You don't want to help me, You want to take this place? You're not going to go. Maybe you're right. Not fit to bask in my radiance, let alone touch me.
What was Perry thinking? The fool. Mortals must be shown the way. My way. Ha! 
like the same old Hermes. How is that fair? Life's not fair. But didn't you notice? I got transformed. Into what? Oh, a blonde. It's worse than it sounds. Ha! You're what? burning a hole in your pocket? Loving this ensemble, Phoenix. Though you could change once in a while. You got it? My essence? Just like we planned. Are you ready? I. I think so. will work as one. With your guidance, leading us all. Although, you could have been quicker about it, honestly. And those wings you're wearing, they're a safety hazard. Daedalus' designs are shoddy and ill-conceived. And while we're talking about shoddy and ill-conceived, you, Hermes... Oh, here we go. She's always got something to say. Whoa, Athena. Glad you're back, but maybe... Uh... <clears throat> yes. Maybe it's time for me to be more... Judicious with all these judgments. You know, I really admire you. You're critical, but you're also wise. Most of the time. Thank you, Phoenix. 
And together, we'll begin on a new, wise plan. But, um, we can still punch Typhon in the face, right? Phoenix learned that being critical, judgmental, even stubborn, is not always a flaw. It can give one the surety needed to refuse bad counsel. Maybe I should have listened to Athena more often, rather than trying to be right all the time. Perhaps the great Zeus is fallible after all. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. My judgments are all pretty great. You... you chained me to a rock! An eagle pecks out my liver every single day! <laughs> I know. Let me know if you're in the market for anything. Let me know what you're feeling. How does it feel to be back, Athena? It's fine. A little damp. Not to complain. I'm trying not to be critical, but maybe someone should have built a few more walls here. Working on a plan to take down Typhon? Oh, yes. But there's something else we should take care of first. During the war with Typhon, I had... I thought I had the perfect plan to stop him. But just as I was about to strike, the harpy known as Azomini flew at me. She distracted me long enough for Typhon to turn me into a child. Reduced, Azomini carried me away in her filthy talons. I managed to escape, but she's still out there. Somewhere. She won't mess with you again. I'll find her and bring her down. Really? Just like that? Of course! I'm your champion, aren't I? <laughs> Technically, no. You never completed the path. But I'm trying to be more flexible, so... Go then, O champion... ...to be. How'd I do? Divine. Then go already. Go do... ...hero things. I know you will. What if I don't want to compromise? I want to earn the full title. Champion. Earn it? Then you'd have to be better than Heracles, Odysseus, Atalanta, and Achilles. I've never heard of such a thing. My bar is tremendously high. What happens if I surpass it? Tell me. Are there any statues of you back home? A, a statue of me? Uh, no. Well, if in the improbable, infinitesimally impossible case that you impress me, we'll have to do something about that. You should pay a visit to my statue. There's something at its base I think you'll find... inspiring. Look at us getting reunited. One big happy family. This is going to be... Ugh... A lot. For what it's worth, my brother can be a bit much sometimes, too. Really? Because mine is the god of joyful slaughter. Now, now, you two. It's not a competition. Everything is a competition. Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? 